Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I've decided before I get too um, crunk on carbon stuff, I'm just going to show you guys my carving tools that I have collected over time and uh, which ones I use the most often. So carving, depending on where you are, may be called sloid, uh, making things to, that you need for stuff, be a, a sloid project, um, or buttons or something like that. Uh, there's also just the carving a little gnome, or maybe a box to keep your hook knives in. Or could partially be in carving a piece of bamboo to make a quick sheath for a carving knife. We'll just go start in the beginning. Um, one of the first carving tools I got was these guys with the little flat sides on them. Break them up into... This may be one also. But this was come in a kit of like three or four pieces and it's from Beaver Craft. And they make some pretty sweet stuff, relatively inexpensive. I don't remember if this one's Beaver Craft or not. Is Beaver Craft. So here are hook knife works fine for everything I've used it for it's just a leather piece of leather that I cut in wet form to keep keep it on there I think this one is also a beaver craft it's starting to get cold y'all I don't know who this guy is. This one, yeah, I don't know who this guy is. What brand it is. It's not a super expensive one though. But it's good and sharp. And that, in my opinion, is really all that you need for carving is a sharp knife. And a strop. That just goes to keeping your knives sharp. Uh, and I know there's the jacks. I love the carbon jacks. I said I carry this one right here in my pocket every day. And it's super, super handy. And once you are familiar with what you carry, so EDC, you know what you can do with what you have. And that opens up a whole another can of worms, in my opinion, about having the things to practice and not having to put things off is why I carry this. But anyway, that's a different story. Um, inexpensive, I want to say it may have been 20 bucks for like this whole, I think it was just these two. I don't know where this one come from. Now that, I don't know where I got that one from. That one may be one I purchased by, by itself, but I want to say it come with uh, a, a little bitty strop and some compound. Uh, these two, at least these two, may have been more. Uh, and some wood. Come with a couple, like I think it was buy one, get one free or something like that. Spend so much money and you get extra wood. But I got a big, big box and an additional box when I bought these guys. Carbon, like basswood or balsa or something. But this is, these two is really about all you need in whichever flavor um, you, you decide to go to. I've carved a bunch of stuff with those and they use good steel. I want to say it's it's 1066, I think. That's what a lot of the knives coming out of Ukraine are and the, the heat treat's good. Like it, it gets sharp and stays sharp. So you have a, a beaver craft option. Um, if you're looking for just a carver, this is the Kerf Carver from Woods Monkey. 
made by LT Rack. Super sharp, great. And this one didn't have a handle on it, so you could put any kind of scales on it you want. And I put this um, leather handle on it. It's very comfortable for me personally. It's a great carbon high. Um, oh, on a Beavercraft too, I forgot about this guy. This is a Beavercraft one. I think it's like, I think it was about 20 bucks. But I got it not just for the length and thinness of the blade, but it also came with a sheath, which is super handy. Um, a lot of these don't come with a sheath. Like those didn't come with a sheath. Um, most of the hook knives don't come with sheaths. The Beavercraft one up there didn't come with a sheath. But this one did. And it's very sleek. There's a lot of edge to it there and all these things have been really efficient carvers i don't know who told me i was stropping wrong man i've been stropping a long time but i never have a problem with it but it's a great option too the it's it's flat on one side so where i really keep a lot of contact with the blade i've fattened it up a little bit with the jute wrap right there but it's it's good and the sheet's been decent too and uh i'll talk about that once we get through all the different flavors um, this is made by the same people that make my carving jack so these are carving tools from flex cut it's just a little Lloyd, good little carbon knife there. Kids hollering something. And then I just made this bamboo lower with the leather upper. And then like this is how I do my, my hook knives. comes out goes back in it has a pin at the top pretty pretty simple but this this combo you could do about whatever you wanted to with this combo it's great the the most part of what we do when we craft can really be done with a blade. Uh, the spoon or hook knives come in handy when we start trying to put a, a reservoir or, or some sort of concavity in something. A spoon, a, a bowl or whatever. But most of the stuff is done with just a, a simple carving knife. Um, you'll get a hook knife though. If you, if you carve enough, you'll get one. And it's, it's handy to, to do things like if you notice when I carved a reel the other day, the little spoon knife that it had was what I used to hollow those U's out. Just because it's the most efficient for me. I don't know. You know, some people might like to do something else different, but that's what works for me. Um, here are the Moras. So I've got a lot of time in these guys too. And I took and put, uh, especially when it's cold, I put some goon tape on this dude. Focus. Focus, bruh. Just don't want to, does it? Anyway, it's goon tape, so it's, it's cloth fabric tape, so I can get a purchase on that instead of it being really slick. I started doing that on my daughter's knives years ago just because she wasn't super strong and it helped her to hang on to the sheath a little bit more but this is a can't remember if this is the 106 or the 120 there's a shorter one from mora and a longer one and uh, if you get used to using the shorter one and start using that longer one you really have to pay attention to where that tip's at so I, if you I think they're about the same price, but if you were going to get one and practice, if you just wanted a, a specific Sloyd knife, I would 
get the uh, uh, it's a mora but it's a different type of uh, sloyd than, than these guys and you can see the difference from one to another if you were getting somebody that was just starting to try to get uh, to figure out how agile enough is or, or working on their control a shorter one would definitely be better for that in my opinion and these are the more hook knives I don't use a hook knife a whole a whole bunch unless I'm specifically making a bowl or something but I normally keep this guy right here or one of them I have several of these but I take and cut the little plastic piece off of the sheath I put me a ranger band on there to keep my stuff from dangling and this is what goes in my haversacks or my backpacks or that this one this one lived in there for a long time but I got some of these in a couple of my packs this is a, a Mora Carver just with the polymer handle So it's 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 thin, a great slow enough. I don't think it has a number on it. It's just you can start if you look at more carvers, you'll see one that has the the plastic handle on it. And I'm not sure. So it's it's longer than this one and shorter than that one. So it's a. a so kind of a medium here between these two. Oops. I like the the size of that polymer handle one, but they're they're all great knives. the The length and stuff it is going to be up to you guys. I can't tell you how long of a knife that you want. That's something that's going y'all gonna have to figure out. Uh, but this is a, a another good size and I wonder how close it is to this one it's very tiny amount maybe a quarter of an inch difference in those two but when you start most of the things that we do uh, a basic belt knife can get it done but if you're getting to where you're really trying to carve some intricate things or really get stuff cleaned up, it's not nice just to have another uh, carver. Like this guy being Scandi, it, it just it performs very well for woodworking. And regardless of what my uh, belt knife is, so I got one this time that's high, high saber. But it's also a karambit. Oh, hey, Banner. Hey, bub. Come in. Come in. Come in. Hey, bozo. That's Beans. He's my he's my buddy. Uh, I'm putting my knives up, man. Put my knives up. But you can you can have that extra knife, and it could be an extra knife if you needed one. But it also is just a thin. Uh, option made for carving and you don't have to worry about uh, running the edge on your other one to a point where you need to touch it up or strop it most of the time I, I don't have to put my knives on the stone very seldom do I have to put actually sharpen one and the ones that I have to sharpen are like the loaners a lot of time that I loan out and somebody ends up sticking it in the ground and that's, that's what ends up putting nicks and dings in the very end of it. But, uh, strop on top of any of these knives uh, get you a decent strop. And I'm going to go over a, a good inexpensive strop in, in some other videos. And I think I have one uh, talking about strops too. But that Beaver Craft had a little $12 one, two-sided to come a compound. that was a, a great strop. Like it, uh, I really took a liking to it when I was trying to strop out that Magna Cut. 
thousands of strokes over the course of a month. Like there's no telling. I would sit around and just strop that thing. Like there's no, I don't even know how many passes I had, but it was more than I felt like I needed to do on a strop, but I was just trying to get that edge right. You know, and then it ended up coming, uh, I had to, to really remove some material before I could put on the strop. So it was the, it was that final grind, something with it. But anyway, so many options. There's a, this is, again, this is the Kerf Carver. And the, this one, they come with scales too. They got big chunky scales on them. It's nice. But this one was an option where you could do your own scales. It's from LT Wright, makes it Woods Monkey. Kerf Carver. Um, these guys, these are all Morris. There's a there's a 106, a 120. This is, thing just is just a carver, I think. I don't think it has a number. Um, there's a bunch of different type of hook knives too, but I normally just get uh, I'll just get one if I get one. I don't look at any specific numbers with it. I think I may. I'll need to go back and look, but I think this was one that I ordered just to just to have one and I may have had this before I got this combo from beaver cut or beaver craft but it's a great if it's if you're just looking at you know getting into something this is a this is a good buy comes with wood too just to see how you like it and then if it's something that you think you, you really enjoy as long as you take care of these guys and keep them sharp they should last you you know, the, the, at least you'll get your money out of them for sure. You know, I, I would say they should last you years. I've had, I've had those years, but I haven't necessarily used this one as much, but I've used this guy for a ton of stuff. I've did all kinds of stuff with this thing before I end up getting, uh, some Morris, but so many options, guys. This, this little beaver cut dude, great one. Good sleek fin. So the sheath was what sold it for me. And these are also these are flex cuts here. This one is a flex cut, I think. No, this one is a flex cut. I don't know what that one is. I need to go back and see. It's gonna bother me now. But here's a flex cut. Made in USA. With just a bamboo. Sheath. I'll go over how to make one of these too. It's really easy. But there they are, guys. This is my haul of carving stuff. But the most, the thing that I use the most is going to either be this dude right here, because just because I have it in my pocket, or this guy right here. And I have a couple more of them. And this guy's been used a bunch. He lives in another one of my kits just so just a good comfortable knife that stays sharp uh, is a good option for carving you don't have to go super crazy uh, it's hard I was talking about this the other day too it's hard to tell somebody to try stuff with something that's relatively inexpensive unless you've had your hands on it before because like sometimes you get something that like oh man this sort of work and it just is garbage and then it ruins somebody's idea of certain tools but you know not everybody can just go drop you know fifty dollars whenever they want to so uh, uh something just to see how you like it really does help and those beaver craft are good good options for it too then this uh you know if you didn't have uh, a knife for bushcrafting, you could go straight to this. You don't have to have a full tang deal to, to do bushcraft stuff. You could just get one of those. Uh, you know, I'm doing a 510 in some of my other stuff, but uh, great options. Anyway, sorry, that was long-winded. I appreciate the support, guys. Uh, lots and lots of stuff coming down the line. I've, I've had it put up for a while, but I appreciate the support. You can check out my website, bushcraftkelso.com, for gizmos and gadgets. Uh, check out mine and Sassy's IG, at Bushcraft Kelso or at Bushcraft Sassy. Uh, I've got some Sassy videos coming too. So, But anyway, here's some carbon options for you. Have a good weekend. Later.